back to theme park wizard and today we're going to talk about epic universe plenty of updates happening at the park and luckily not too much damage really any damage after the hurricane so perhaps i'm gonna it's gonna be a mix of before and after shots from before and after hurricane milton and progress is going quite nicely again all photos thanks to bio reconstruction let's get it. today we're gonna start off in the isle of burke that's right the isle of burke this is the fire drill attraction this is the entrance to the attraction you see there's a nice little dragon on top of the little hut right there and then you go into the covered queue and go down to the boat attraction all almost all the props have been installed the props are fantastic a whole bunch of 2d props including some 3d looking dragons in there so that's pretty awesome over here and the spitfire grill yeah the um painting has been um complete paint the paint job almost is complete there there's lots of wood painting there's even a new dragon on top and the seating areas and pavement are being worked on right now covered portions of extended key for the fire or uh, yeah the fire drill attraction are here have nice nice colorful tents you can see behind the wall there's the maintenance bay for the boats and they go up uh and out of the track there's another shot of the fire drill uh, attraction and it's extended the queue area and those poles they should be themed to wood they should be painted brown for a more wood color and there are the boats lined up going to that extended uh, going to that maintenance bay. Over at the Untrainable Dragon Theater, this is going to be the exit and the exit gift shop right here to the uh, theater. Still needs a paint shop, but the shaping looks fantastic, and the entrance is, um, which you can't see in this photo, is looking pretty complete. Cannot wait for this show. Over at the Wing Gliders attraction, you see a whole bunch of themed holes. These are painted brown to see that wooden color for. Uh, the act outdoor extend the queue and this will have a whole bunch of those tents i don't know if the, what color they'll be but they'll have a whole bunch of those tar tarps and tents over this section as well before we go into the main queue building which is right which is the archway is kind of covered in plastic right now. olive burke is all about uh tent queues tarp queues because yeah here are some more um queues or uh, poles set up for a massive tent structure that will be the the two queues are probably one giant queue then you'll split up into you know they'll direct you to either the right or the left for the the ring of the racers attraction here and again tents will cover all these areas and they these poles shouldn't stay white they should be again painted brown to theme uh get to the wooden theme of the whole land we're at the viking training camp more tarps have been uh, put up uh, we saw all the poles um, last a bit now the tarps very colorful tarps have been put up that shading area to this very cool two-story play area which is very large as well there's even maybe two or three stories i don't know if that third story you can get on but yeah this is a very elaborate play area and just like this would be like the camp jurassic of epic universe and i love that game i mean, can't wait to experience camp jurassic for my first time in a couple months but these elaborate play areas that can be for kids but also teenagers and adults are really awesome and really add to the overall atmosphere of the air. Yeah. Quick look at the entrance and exit to the Wing Gliders roller coaster. The entrance is almost complete now, so the for leveling needs a little bit more painting in. The exit looking good has a nice little dragon, but that needs uh sorry the I mismatched. The exit's almost complete. Um an the exit gift shop right there. With the wooden theme and the entrance just needs a little bit more paint job. It has a really cool dragon on the top of it. And here's just an overview of the entire Isle of Burke, the largest area in Epic Universe at 14 acres. We're going to head on over to Celestial Park right now at the Stardust Racers roller coaster. You can see here's the indoor portion of the queue for the Stardust Racer, that escalator there. And it has a nice painted motif there of maybe some plants or some space cosmic themes. Yeah, it looks like they're bringing up the, the staircase. That looks to be the final staircase or one of the final staircases. We head on the coaster itself. Okay, Slice Hill Park, Constellation Carousel looks pretty good. As of time, this photo they had the oh, it looks like they took the walls down and the interior, so you can see the, um, the blue tile of the actual ride uh, platform, and we'll get a closer shot of that a little bit later. Over here at the front of the entrance, this is the Lunar Overlook, and either prepping the ground for a massive uh, you know, circular pavement installation right there. Luna herself is in a uh, tarp still and scaffolding. She's looking pretty good. 
the Atlantic restaurant looking pretty nice. Um, looks like one piece of glass, one section of glass is still missing, or unless they just boarded up maybe for the hurricane. But looks pretty good. Scaffolding is on 75% of the building. Doing some final paint touches and then we taking that off. But we should have a beautiful view. I cannot particularly wait to eat here because it's gonna be great views of there's like two levels, so upper level and lower level should have some great views. Here is that water, or not the water feature, but the the platform here. You can see those the, all those constellations down on that carousel platform right there. The ride vehicles have not been installed yet, but they should be installed pretty soon now that the tarp, that, that work is done on the platform there. And I love how the motif matches the roof. The motif of the platform matches the roof of the structure, which looks gorgeous. Some of my favorite structures. Not just Celestial Park, but in all of Epic Universe, because it's just so gorgeous, and it's my favorite color, which is... So we saw Luna, but check on our boy Helios. That's right, Helio is looking great, and looks like there will be a show, um, some type of lighting ceremony or show each evening where Helio will fire his arrow over to Luna, and it'll look really amazing, so I can't wait. Luna, uh, Helio's looking great. Looks like they got him saw some stuff in his back, maybe some lighting and stuff for that show element, but statue himself looks fantastic and another shot of luna this is this is one of those after pictures so one of the ones i showed you was before this is an after the newer picture after the hurricane so um not too much uh luna looks I mean, more covered up this time but yeah should be a cool impressive element than these the two fire the fire will happen and the pillars It'll be really cool that element there there's some stardust racers extended queue i do like instead of just how just, it's like winding instead of like a straight like switchback type of thing. At least if you're gonna be stuck out there, I'll be winding around. I think there'll be there's little like foundations. See those little square foundations? I believe that'll be for again more covered extended queue, which would be uh, great because it's hot in Florida. Over at the Isle of Vert, I'm sorry, not Isle of Vert, Dark Universe, <laughs> more tarps have been installed. The tent covering has been installed for the final brink run of the Curse of the Dark Universe coaster, or Curse of the Dark, Curse of the Werewolf coaster. And then more tents have yet to be installed um, for that extended queue structure, that outdoor queue structure. You can see all the poles ready to go, and tarps and tents will be covering that in the weeks to come. The final piece has finally been installed on the manor for the Monsters Unchained attraction. The monster scaffolding is still up there as they paint it and install it, but in the next few weeks, this should be done and installed and it'll look absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to see the final project without any uh, scaffolding on the building itself. Landscaping has been installed in the moat area in the entrance queue, so it's more lively now, so it's just dirt. It looks much better than it did before and it looks like to be an exit gift shop and exit pathway lined with trees and you can install to the right hand side there another shot of the entrance queue through all the scaffolding there um just really looks really like very european very gothic and very kind of almost like northeastern westy with the fall like all those trees there looks really creepy and i love it and here's another shot of those turrets and the final top piece from an overhead almost a direct overhead shot Thanks to Bio's am amazing camera work. But can't forget about Darkmoor. You got the little well being installed in Darkmoor. Darkmoor, at least the facades and pavement look to be almost just about, well, not almost, actually, they look to be complete except for the well structure. So that's pretty awesome. This work continues on the rides, really the queue for the rides. And again, that sculpture, the top piece in the manor. Then Dark Universe will be probably the first land done, I imagine, which is pretty awesome. How about head over to the Wizard World of Harry Potter, another land that looks mostly complete, but I'm sure there's little touches, uh, well, touches will be coming. Lots more new touches have been installed here with these more paintings and pay uh, and colors along the, the streets here. Here's another one of these streets on the, uh, this courtyard here that has new colors installed and lots of cool stuff. Here is the interior kind of, what do you call it, um, Kind of that, you know, that, that death alley or that dark alley um, structure. That version here has new signs painted on the top. And here is a clearly defined Metro Flu entrance. They had the, um, it's going to be just like a Paris subway station. I have been to Paris, so I have been on their, on their subway. And the station do look just like that. 
So they're going to saw the awning, then put Metro Flu on there, and this will be the entrance to the attraction, the main attraction, the battle of the Ministry, which looks to be absolutely mind bonkers. And here is the entrance to the tent, the show uh, in this land. The circus tent has been complete. And then uh, it looks like it's to be just about done. Probably some signage has to be installed. But other than that, looks just about done. And the Phoenix, like we saw in the last update, that was being staged, has been installed on the back of the arch. And it looks absolutely glorious. One last overhead shot of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. A small but compact land with plenty of stuff to do. And with a mouse of attractions, I'm very excited to see this one for myself. Let's head over to Super Nintendo World in the Mushroom Kingdom. Look at that, Peach's Castle. All the tourists that we saw sitting there have now been installed, and they are now in the process of getting painted pink, which looks fantastic. Bowser's Castle, aka the Mario Kart entrance, is looking good. They're working on his head right now. All the tourists have been installed, which is super cool. There might be a couple more on the side, but I'm not sure. But it looks like all the main turrets have been installed and they're working on its head right now some mini games are being installed as well as color and payment this is probably one of my favorite shots from the update because it's like so defined the super nintendo one has one of the coolest entrance portals only because of the star um and i say not on the portal itself but the ground because i like that star the shooting star on the ground the best portal like sign by far is dark universe but uh, in terms of the ground pavement, they're all just kind of usually like constellation circle-y type of things. But this one has a, like the shooting star, which is super cool. So I really like this in the green pavement. I can't always see that installed. And I'm glad the pipes are finally being um, installed and have lots of color through them. They just got the massive green pipe left to go, and then they'll be done with that. And this is really part of Celestial Park. But it's so close to the Super Nintendo World entrance. This is at that main Nintendo store outside the portal. Um, this is the Mario Fountain, which looks super cool. I hope that looks obviously looks like the coins will be turning, but I hope they'll make some musical elements to this. You know, like some Mario music, which I'm sure there will be. But it looks very whimsical, very Toontown like, and I love it. Captain Toad and some friends have been sawn on the Yoshi's Adventure attraction. The Yoshi's ride vehicles themselves are covered up because they don't need to be in use at the moment. Over at Donkey Kong Country, the the land's only gift shop, plain area, looks to be almost done. The scaffolding has come down on the first level, um, and they've got some more scaffolding on the second level, and wrapping around the structure. And then there's some kind of archway for maybe a mini game or a snack stand over to the right hand side. I wonder what that will be. Probably some kind of type of game or merchandise location. Overall, the land's looking great. The um, snack stand and drink stand. As well as meet and greet location, those two huts right there. Still have some work to do, but the land itself's getting some payment and almost complete. And that's gonna do it for this week's Epic Universe update. What has been your favorite update um, or new development in this video or in this update so far? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe for more theme park updates. And once again, thank you so much to Fire Weekend Shark for providing these photos, especially going up literally the day after a hurricane. Went up in the helicopter to see progress on the park and see if there's any damage, which is pretty insane. Thank you so much, Fire we Reconstruct. We all rely on you, and you're the main. If you want uh, early access to video like videos like these, please consider supporting the channel and becoming a member for as little as one dollar a month for early access to videos like these, member-only live chats, and more. Other than that, you can help supporting the channel by subscribing, liking, and sharing. Have a big day, everybody.